I'm Emily Bazelon. I'm the author of Sticks and Stones, Defeating the Culture of Bullying and Rediscovering the Power of Character and Empathy. There are a number of successful bullying prevention efforts, particularly in elementary schools. One example is called Steps to Respect. It comes from the Committee for Children in Washington State, and it's a social and emotional development curriculum that gives kids at an early age tools for conflict resolution and anger management, ways of naming the kinds of behavior that can turn into bullying. What is trickier is to figure out how to address bullying among older students. There is research that dismayingly shows that direct anti-bullying programs in high school can actually have a backlash. They can lead to an increase of kids reporting bullying. And what researchers think is happening here is that at an older age, kids are rebelling against the kind of don't do this form of instruction. And so for older students, it seems important to address bullying in more indirect ways. Asking kids to take over a kind of messaging for a school or also harnessing the insights from campaigns against smoking and drunk driving that are really about teenagers challenging authority as opposed to the just don't do it kind of mantra.